Hey, since today I'm going to start a watch episode, so I might go through my notes one by one, but if I don't, sorry. So let's get into it. It starts off where it left off last um, episode, where Zakia is going off. She's going off telling Josie she's going to kill her and all this kind of stuff, and Josie is not saying it. They just laughing like whatever. She wilding out. So, Zakia goes outside. And um, Liza runs after her to talk to her, and the other girls are in the bar, and they're talking, the club, whatever. They're talking. So the camera is just going out, like, to both different situations, to, you know, the heated situation. So the kid is just out there venting to Liza. Really, she just mad. She just needs to vent. But she was so over the top. She was just, the way she was acting, she was just trying to get camera time. Um, I understand that she was mad, and I understand how she was feeling, but the way she was acting, it was like she was trying to put on some cameras. That's just what I'm basically trying to say. Monica and them, they in there, and they are really, it's not even basically Monica, because Monica's like, this is about money, this is not about personal stuff, but Josie is just really trying to egg the situation on. I'm, I'm not feeling Josie, I think she's a shit starter, period. I just, I'm just not here for her. So, anyway, um, yeah, they are talking, and Tashira had mentioned that she was losing her house. So, everybody was like, I didn't even know, and so the conversation kind of switched, because she started crying, and she was just like, I'm not here for drama. I'm going through too much shit in my personal life to deal with drama. I thought we were supposed to be a sisterhood, and y'all fight. So, I, I understood what this I like Tashira. I really like Tashira. I feel sad for Tashira. Through her through this episode, um, but yeah, um, y'all see y'all. Anyway, but yeah, I I I, I really like it. She just wants these women to do positive things and stuff like that. So um, she was telling that um, Cheryl that she likes her and off jump she really likes her and she will want to get to talk to her. So that was that. Then Monica and Josie and Liza they meet up and um, they talk about what happened. They. Monica and Josie was acting like two little ass girls laughing and kicking about the kids. I was not feeling that whatsoever. Liza wasn't feeling that. I just, Liza just was like, you know, it was, it, it, it's stupid. You guys just talk, like, come on. I, I just wasn't. And then, so, so you, anyway, she tells, um, Liza tells Monica that she wants her to go to yoga. Monica said it some kind of way. She like, damn, do we got to sweat to be able to talk this out like this? What? But I understand where Liza's kind of comes from. Liza's kind of like the peacemaker. She 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 don't want to see these women argue that she's the peacemaker in this episode. Um, but yeah, they are. So so anyway, uh, Liza say no. What's her name? Josie say she ain't coming. But Monica, um, she talks to her and say she's coming along with. The kid act like a grown up. She cool. So anyway, the next scene is with the kid, Liza, and Tashira. They meet up, and Tashira just goes in on um, the kid, like, what happened? What made you act like that? And so the kid gave her a little sad story about her family dying, and um, which you know it's a sad story, but she just was just. She just gave an excuse of why she acted like that. Because Cheryl was just like, I'm not here for that. I'm not with that shit. Whatever. So, Liza invites Zakia to yoga. Zakia like, okay. She's not really feeling the exercise shit either, but she'll go. So, anyway, Zakia, Monica, and Liza, they go to yoga. They're exercising. They throwing shade at each other, exercising. Kind of Monica was like kind of over it. Of them throwing shade, so she like fuck it. Let me just bring it up. So they start talking about what happened, and they going back and forth, back and forth. Liza jumps in and just was like, "Look, you feel this way. This is what how she feel. Like it, it needed to be a mediator in that argument because it wasn't going nowhere." So then they kind of heard what Liza was saying. So they acknowledged the wrong that they did in that argument. Which I liked. I liked how they both was grown women and they listened to the situation and they talked about it. They hugged it out. They was cool. Um, I don't think that would have went that way if that little bitch Josie was there. Just period. Um, but yeah, they fixed it. It was cool. Then for Cheryl, she meets up with Cheryl. Cheryl explains her story of her being married to a mobster and 
she went to jail and she lost everything and she had to start over. So now she got a tequila company. She's back being successful and everything like that. So she sure understands that and she sees how this lady went from having nothing to something. So she, you know, it was expired by her. And I and I am too. I, I like Cheryl so far. I think she's cool and I like what she's doing. So she's telling her about her situation with DMX and how he dogged um, the kids and left the situation. She's losing her house, her life was cut off, all this stuff. So then she tells her that she wants the kids to meet um, the other kids, DMX's other kids. Um, and she was like, okay, I got this guy. You know, a little cuckoo, but I got this private investigator. She was like, I knew it was the reason why I told me to meet Cheryl because Cheryl was a hookup. So, um, yeah, I like that, um, and I understand what the show is coming from. Regardless if a man has kids elsewhere, I do think the kids should, don't have anything to do with that, and they should be able to meet, and they should be brothers and sisters. I always tell people that, all my friends that, like, I don't understand. Like, they should be interacting. They didn't have nothing to do with y'all grown people acting real stupid and being inconsiderate and immature and irresponsible. So that ain't got nothing to do with the child. So anyway, um, Liza, after that, Liza and Josie, they meet up for drinks because Josie wants to be nosy because she didn't go to yoga and she wants to know what happened. So Liza told her that everything was cool, you know, wasn't no problem. So Josie, like, for real, like, Josie was act like she had an attitude that everybody was cool. So anyway, she tells her that she, you know, wants her to get back out there, you know, she telling her, like, Monica thinks I'm straddling the fence with um, Floyd or whatever, and you are. You are, because you're still stuck on the school. So then she asked Liza, like, well, do you, um, would you go back to your ex? And Liza was like, no. Like, it's too much and happened. Like, no. And I don't think Liza would either. Like, all the media attention that he's had with Chloe, I doubt that she'd get back with him anyway. Um, but yeah, then she started telling her about this thing that. I gave an event, dating shit, and life was like, what the hell, like, this shit just sounds stupid. And I was like, how do y'all, how do y'all, bitch, y'all even trying to stupid shit. But anyway, though, she's like, you know, tell her about the dating thing, and you know, she like, everybody's gonna, I'm gonna invite all the girls, whatever, so everybody gonna go, whatever. So then, Cheryl and Tashira, they go, and they talk to the private investigator. He's a little weird. They, Tashira tells her story. He asks her question. He's being funny. Tashira's just not getting a joke. But I got it. And he seemed cool and he's willing to help her. So that was cool with on Cheryl probably helping her out. I hope they find the kids. I hope everything works out. Anyway, moving on. The ladies all um, get dolled up. They all meet up, get dolled up to go to this stupid ass event. Um. They talking and joking and laughing and it was whatever. They were just getting doing girl talk, whatever. Um then they get to the event. The man that was there first of all, I wouldn't have been there. So it don't even matter what to even like it was like ain't nobody gonna be here with serial, rapists, killers, whatever. I, I just didn't get this whole event. But anyway, let's move on to the event. They go to the event the people tell them there's no talking, there's no looking down in your dreams. You got to look at these people. Just look at them. Don't say nothing, just look at them. So, okay, whatever. So, then, it's, the only thing that sucks out in me is this whole little dating event with the sheriff saying, I've been through hell and back. They ain't ready for me. I fell out. Because I was like, yes, yeah, thank you got all them kids, your crazy ass ex husband, your, your, your house going in. You're about to lose your house, your life, you're getting cut off. He ain't ready for all that. He don't want all that. You don't want to give him all that. And then, Monica being shady as shit. I don't like her. I don't like her. Anyway, I do remember um, the kid telling one boy, you look like my son. And I looked at him, I was like, yeah, you do. Like, why are you here? Anyway, that was that. The, then they tell all the ladies to pick a dude. Everybody say no. Monica, Liza, Cheryl, Tashira, all of them say no. Tashira did say the one African dude was cute. But, mm -mm. Then the kid picked, say, this one dude, Jamel, was attractive. She said she didn't want him, she just said he was attractive. So then Josie sees what Tashira, um, the kid broke down. So she told J Jamel, Tramel, whatever the fuck his name is. Then so he had to choose which one. 
So then he chose Josie. I was just like, the shade, the shade. And Josie, this is just why I don't like this. You're very fucking immature. Like, like if you don't like the kid, you just don't like it. But the new spiteful shady shit, I just don't get it. Anyway, that was my review for Star um Star to Watch uh episode two. I hope I said that in the beginning of the for Star to Watch and not just the hood. I don't know. But anyway, it was a TRC show. They were kind of confusing me. I don't know. This show was Kumbaya and uh, Sisterhood was Ratchet. I don't know. So they both on TLC, Ratchet show. Anyway, like I said, start to watch episode two review. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, share my videos on everything. Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, uh, Google+, Plus, whatever. Follow me on Twitter at the get over your T-H-A dot T-H-E. Instagram me at Miss Nika 69. M I D D N E K A sixty nine. Um, Facebook me at the gallery. Talk to me and I'll talk back. I right,